Hey guys, it's Drac, and I am one of the all-time champions for a blaster called the Maverick, which is the predecessor in both spirit, form, and function to this, which is the strong arm. So when I saw this reshell in Sonic Fire Colors, which is to say this this red clear plastic, I, I knew that I had to pick this one up, I knew that I had to give it a review, and I knew that I would have to show it off on the channel. I ought to start calling these videos like repaint rumbles, because that's essentially what they are. The shells are redone in a different color, and it is worth exploring them. So we're talking less about the function of the strong arm, although we will do a firing demo. It is a slam fire pistol with a six round revolver clip, which is super duper cool. They did the drop clip mod in this one, so it drops pretty far out without having to do any real tinkering with it, which is a strict improvement over the Maverick. But what I'm focusing on in this one is the aesthetics of this new plastic and whether or not it meets expectations. The plastic is comfortable. It feels about the same as normal Nerf ABS plastic. What makes this interesting is obviously you can see through it. How cool is that, that everything is transparent and you can tell what's going on with your blaster at all times. I think that it's neat getting to watch the mechanisms kind of click through their operations. You can see the slide come back and then forward and then the rotational mech turn. I think that that's just really, really awesome, which makes this an excellent candidate for an Orange Modworks kit, actually, because it would be a lot of fun to watch it work that way. So I'll probably do a mod guide for that later, which will be super duper cool. I'll modify this blaster and throw a link in the description box for you guys to check that out. But I wanted to make a video demonstrating that this is a product that exists. The Sonic Fire Strong Arm is sweet. Nerf has also started doing a Sonic Ice, which is a clear blue plastic, and that would be really sweet for another pistol. I'd love to see a hammer shot in clear plastic. I just think that that would be awesome. But the Strong Arm is a great blaster, and it's definitely worth picking up if you don't already have a Strong Arm because it's excellent for pistol rounds. And hey, check this out. It comes with red darts. I haven't seen any red Elite darts. There used to be clear series blasters in the old in-strike line like a clear series raider and a clear series recon and those came with red darts they were a target exclusive for a while but that is cool i like the idea of red darts i'm sure the sonic fire barrel break also came with red darts but this should be neat all right so claiming standard elite ranges i'm almost positive it's claiming Ranges of up to 75 feet, there we go. This is currently a Toys R Us exclusive, but don't be afraid to find it online. You can find it online for typically a better deal, actually. And this is just showing that there are other Sonic Fire and Sonic Ice blasters. We've already done a review on the Centurion, but firing the blaster, level shots. Level shots lead me to believe that it could very potentially get its 75 foot ranges if we angle them and don't hit trees. Keep hitting the tree, that's so unfortunate. It also has a slam fire feature, which I'll go over here. But all in all, I think that the blaster is sweet. It's definitely a cool repaint. And these days, you can pick up a strong arm for about 10 bucks just about everywhere. They're on sale at virtually all major retailers in the US, and so it shouldn't be too hard to get somebody to price match that for you. $10 for a blaster that does everything that this blaster does is just a bargain. This is a really good pickup if you can find yourself a Sonic Fire Strong Arm. I highly recommend it. And yeah, maybe I am a little bit biased because I just love revolver type pistols and clear blasters. So this is the best of both worlds for me. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of this blaster and the Sonic series in general if you like clear blasters or if you're against them. Down in the comment section below, I'd be curious to hear your thoughts on clear blasters because I'm definitely for them. Hey guys, so I wanted to add this segment real quick just to showcase the differences between the Strong Arm and its Elite Series paint job. I like the slide much more on the Sonic Fire one. It's monochrome 
whereas this is kind of like a gray, off gray, and black. This is just black and gray, which I think is much nicer, and I just generally like kind of the coloration of the plastic much more than the weird white stripe paint job, because the white stripe lets Hasbro kind of blur and bleed a little bit, which just looks sloppy to me, so I like this a lot more. I wish that this was black so that it actually said strong arm, similar to how they did the Elite logo down here. I feel like this shouldn't be completely clear. I think that that would be much nicer. But all in all, I like this better, and I thought that it would be interesting to kind of showcase it side by side with a Maverick, and then ironically, this is a Maverick I made very early in my career. You can see that the enamel work is just awful. I'm not very talented when I made this four years ago, but it's a clear series Maverick that I tried to tint red by tinting the inside, and I think that that's kind of an interesting comparison that I tried to make Sonic Fire before Nerf did. That's just kind of amusing to me. It's obviously nowhere near as vibrant and nowhere near as cool. I like this much better, but it's just kind of an interesting concept video, and it serves the purpose of showing the Maverick side by side with the strong arm, which I think is cool. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Please leave me an opinion in the comment section below. I read all of them and I find them very interesting.